me in advance or you don't. And along the way, this is a story of being happier and healthier and more fulfilled and having better relationships. It's just, it's about winning. I want to win on every single front. All four of those, mind, body, spirit, all of them, all those dimensions. I want them all. And I think it's all possible. And it is for me. So my goal is I want to share that with people. Because I think everybody should have access to that. Not everybody will choose that. Uh, that's okay. I, I, don't, I don't have to believe I have to reach everybody. So when you put those three E's together, and then you combine that fourth E, the exponential growth, it just all sort of snaps into place and says, here it is. What do you think do with it? It's information. Maybe nothing. Maybe it'll change everything. But that's the invitation. Questions, Chris, something that came up earlier, um, we were talking about, you know, what, when this reset happens, what, what are some of the things, like you talked about that you're buying woodlands because people are going to need wood, and <coughs> what type of things do you foresee that people are going to need um, that we can work on offering? I think the game last night was, was hugely instructive uh, because I saw people scrambling to identify what, what, they, had to, what they had to sell, what their, what their value was. There are always going to be needs that need to be met. I think that in many cases we, we fall down to the bottom of Maslow's hierarchy of need uh, during the crisis, right? Food, shelter, warmth, security, those are all at the bottom, right? I need to, be, I need to not freeze and, or, or overheat, I need to not have uh, my personal security to be uh, at risk, I need mean, water in it. One second, is everybody is, is people are familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Raise your hand. Who's not familiar with it? Okay, the third part of it's very simple that I go on the web from Maslow, but what he's talking about is the base level of is it security, he called it or something? Oh, yep. So you got your, your physiological stuff on the bottom, that's if you default it all the way down, you know, you're in Sierra Leone during a crisis. Um, you're at the bottom two levels down there. But everybody wants to be moving up, want that love and belonging, all of that. So in many cases, I, I think the first part we go to in these crises is we, we devolve down into those bottom layers. Everybody wants to know, right? We want the whole period. And so what I'm looking for is um, the types of skills and things that people are going to need. One of the conversations we had at a table I was eating uh, lunch at yesterday one of the things, one of the skills I've learned is I've learned um, how to distill spirits. I, I have a still. And I've actually figured out how to plant the, the types of uh, pear trees for the certain type of pear liqueur that I had in France. It's fantastic. And I'm going to become you know, just perfect at it. Because I think pear martinis are somewhere on this uh, pyramid. <laughs> I might be wrong, but I'm not confused. Uh, so, there are a lot of things like that which are just sort of side interests that, that I, I think people should, should really figure out what's, what they want to do. Because if you just have one skill, you have all your eggs in one basket, right? If you only know how to do one thing, you only have one offering, either there are people around who want that or there aren't. So uh, diversification of, of skills is really important. It's not about the assets that you can accumulate, sometimes it's the skill sets that you have. It's in the relationships and connections that you've got. Um, but for myself, where I live, you know, if I, if I was in this neck of the woods, I'd be thinking about water very seriously. Uh, and I'd be thinking about where that food is going to come from very seriously. And I'd be thinking, when I think about where food's coming from, who's growing it, who has access to it, how's it going to happen. All of those things are going to be very important. But I, again, I would be, um, I'm not, I have no interest in surviving this next piece. I have interest in thriving through it. So, uh, you know, let's do this in style. Uh, let's grow really high quality, excellent food. Um, and let's have really excellent pair of martinis if that's what we want. So, so uh, yeah, it's just, it's really, this is a great place to start um, thinking about where, where are you at and what, where will you be when the crisis comes and what do you have to offer in each one of these uh, buckets if you can. And if you can, who do you know that can? Okay, take a look and take a look at the uh, chart here. It comes apart. You know, do you have uh, breathing, food, water, sex, sleep, on the stasis of vision? What do you have? If it all comes apart, what do you have? Really quickly, I mean, we'll have security of body, that's my guns and all this stuff. And then this is all the stuff of friendship, family, you have people that you can count on, self-esteem, confidence, but like, ready? Quickly, don't 